Hey, everyone. On today's show, I'm going to show you how to be 10 times more productive than you've ever been. I'm breaking down a new AI workflow that can look at your email, your calendar, your docs, look at how you work, and then give you recommendations on how to do that work better and faster, all with AI. Let's get to today's show. Okay. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need two different AI models and agents to do the show that we're doing today. The first is one of my favorites, Claude. And the second is going to be ChatGPT. Two agents that if you've ever watched the show before, you know we talk about a ton. Here's why you need both. The first reason is if you have paid attention to the news recently, Claude had a big release. And one of their big releases didn't have anything to do with the models, how smart it is, the features. It had to do with how integrated it is. And what they did is they made native integration with your Google Drive, your Google Calendar, and your Gmail. And so now Claude can access and search and think about all of the work that's in those three locations. And that's very powerful. And so before we actually dive in to what I wanna show you today, I wanna to make sure to show you that you have them turned on. If you go in to your settings, you go all the way to the very bottom, you're gonna see integrations and you're gonna to wanna to hit connect. If it says disconnect, then you're connected, great job. But if it says connect, you're gonna to wanna to connect your Google Drive, your Google Calendar, and your Gmail to your Claude instance, okay? This is very, very important. If those are not turned on, this isn't gonna work. So that's the first thing that you're gonna to need to do. Once you have those turned on, then we're off to the races. So I have a prompt. We're gonna share this prompt. It'll be either at the link in the description or you can scan the QR code on the, the screen here on YouTube and get access to this prompt. And this is a special prompt that I have built to look and have Claude act as a specialist and a workflow analyst to document all of my workflow based on the behaviors and information in my email, my calendar, and my Google Drive. And so I've configured this prompt, and then I wanna show you more importantly what you get back. And so first, Claude Smart, so it asked me, it basically tells you, hey, I'm gonna to need to look at those things, your Google Drive, your calendar, and it's basically explicitly asking for your permission. And then it always asks normally a few clarifying questions, which specific aspects of your workflow you'd like to optimize, particular pain points, any AI tools. I said, hey, look at everything, all my digital workflows, and I'm up for any tool to optimize this. And so then it starts gathering stuff in my Gmail, my calendar, everything goes and does a bunch of searching here. Uh, which is awesome. But more importantly, it then gives me a comprehensive workflow analysis. And you could open this as an artifact or in the core chat pane, but I, I kind of like to look at them in artifacts here. And so it gave me an executive meeting management workflow. I've got calendar invites, prep material, status updates, stakeholder requests. And it's like, I receive a bunch of invites per day a bunch of context switching. There's still a bunch of manual preparation for me and follow-up action tracking is kind of all across the place in various systems. It's pretty wild that it was able to pick this up. Marketing AI strategy development workflow. So it's basically giving me different workflows that I can go I automate, telling me how it found it. And then again, the steps that I'm doing in this workflow, I'm gathering information about our AI priorities. I'm prioritizing initiatives based on impact and resource requirements documenting the implementation, aligning across cross-functional teams, tracking progress. And so it's giving me new outputs that I should consider, content operations, team performance management, email triage response. And then here's how it's saying I can use AI to fix these problems. So in one prompt, I get it to completely document some of my core workflows. And if you've got a specific workflow, you can go much, much deeper, right? Like I could pick one of those workflows and go back with Claude and I could say, give it, give it much more detail. So let's say like on the executive meeting, can you go deeper on this and give more specifics and diagram the workflow? And so while it's cooking there, I can come back and it gives me 
a bunch of AI powered opportunities to fix it. It's saying, hey, for all your meeting prep, for example, you should create an LLM powered meeting brief generator. And it says automatically generate meeting briefs by analyzing calendar invites, related documents, previous meeting notes, and relative email. Reduces prep time for your next meeting by 70%. I'm interested. That sounds, sounds pretty good. And then it gave me an example prompt for how to do this, which is like identify key participants in the roles, summarize the two to three most relevant previous interactions from my emails and docs, like that is pretty wild, and extract the three most important pending action items, suggest two to three key questions I should ask. That's pretty amazing meeting prep. And for example, I can do this in Claude. So a good example is that it comes back and, it, and I said, hey, give me more detailed analysis. I'm going to save this prompt here because I'm going to use this guy in a second. And it can give me it then can create diagrams of any of these specific workflows, which is pretty wild, right? And I can zoom in and I can look at the meeting phase, meetings participation, post meeting phase. So it can literally do flow charts on all this, which is inc incredible, right? And then it gives me the pain points and more detailed around each phase. So before it was real general, and now it's giving me much different clarity here. And it's talk, talking about how I can use automated transcription. You can generate a daily AI generated dashboard showing action items and decision implementation status. Like this is wild. This is like better than any project management software, for example, right? And you could basically see, you can have the best understanding of how you work that you've ever had. And it's not something that you think about and document, but because Claude has access to all of this unstructured data about you and how you work, it can provide structure around that and really tell you how it works. And so what if I basically did, did asked it to run that prompt that I had before and said, Hey, like, what would it actually do? I'll demonstrate how this meeting brief prompt would work in practice with a realistic example based on your upcoming meetings. This shows how an AI assistant could prepare your meeting briefs automatically. All right, I've got a meeting on our Marketing Hub product for our narratives. It's with our product marketing team. It's showing me exactly who's coming up. It's showing my previous interaction and key discussion points. And pretty wild, right? Uh, there's an initial draft. Here's the pending action items. Rachel was finalizing the draft. Sunil was providing technical capability assessment for AI personalization features. I had to make, I have to make a final decision on whether to include a preview of the August features in our June narrative. Ooh, am I going to pull any feature marketing up? And it gives me some suggested questions. Like this is pretty amazing. I wonder if I could just do this for my day. This was really helpful. Could you now run this prompt for each meeting I have on Wednesday, May 7th? Let's see what it comes back to us with. Okay, so as you can see, I have a pretty busy day on Wednesday, May 7th after I drop my son off at school. I got a pretty packed uh, day of meetings, nothing crazy, but you know, pretty basic day. And so, we can go through and you'll see now I can have this artifact to use all day. And so it shows my marketing staff meeting. It shows uh, that I'm meeting with our new small business sales leader and has given me some suggested collaboration areas, suggested discussion points, follow-up action items to consider. And then uh, it's given me one-on-ones and looking back at all my notes, like this is incredible. Yeah, I've got a getting louder with AI, how we're actually going to be more aggressively marketing our product. And again, who who's there? What's the project background, messaging framework, everything, and weekly one-on-ones, the whole deal. And then it even generated an end-of-the-day summary of action items that I should have. And what's great is after Wednesday happens and I get to Thursday, I could cut, just come right back in here and like, hey, based on all of the follow-up emails, what are the right action items that I have from my meetings yesterday, right?
very, very cool, very straightforward. This is how you get a daily assistant. If you want to be even more advanced, one of the things that I do is I do love ChatGPT's O3 model. I think it is just very smart and very clever, and it is my most current thought partner today. So if I take that initial result that Claude gave me is what I did here is I took that initial result of like my basic workflow mapping and documentation, and I created a custom prompt here in O3. And here's what O3 did for me. I think it did an even better job. And it gave me an end to end plan to turn chat GPT into a personal operating system layered on top of my existing tech stack. I've organized it into design principles, architectural need, and a 30, 60, 90 day rollout. So it's going to break me through what are, what's my agentic plans, the retrieval of how we're going to do this, how we make this secure. It's basically telling me how to build my own personal system with HubSpot with Zapier and Make with Slack. It's pretty incredible that if you then wanted to build your whole agent, like personal assistant agent, it's given a plan to do this and it can help you at every step of the way. So it's pretty incredible what you can do just for yourself with AI. I know it can be sometimes very confusing if you are like, hey, I know AI is important, but what the heck do I do? One of the easiest things to do is help yourself. And that's what we're talking about. Claude is free or 20 bucks a month. You can integrate it with the tools that you use, all the, all the Google work, uh, Google for work tools. You can have it do a detailed mapping of how you work. And then you can have it suggest agents to fix that. You can put it in O3 to give yourself a whole personal assistant agent plan, or you can do what I did, which I think is the easiest, but most valuable, which is like pick a day and have it do a full briefing for your day and interact with that briefing throughout your day. And then know that you can follow up once you have new docs, emails, and calendar notes from those meetings, you can then update that and prep for the next meetings if there's any follow-ups to the meetings you have. Like pretty remarkable, definitely a way to be five times more productive probably. And at least for me, I know way more prepared, way more engaged. I'm not going to be distracted. I'm going to show up to all of those discussions in a way that I can really be focused and helping and, uh, and solving the problems right at hand. And it's incredible. I know we're talking a lot about these models, but sometimes the power is unlocked by getting the right data into them. And the updates that Claude has with Gmail, with Google Calendar and Google Drive is a prime example of this. Please leave a comment. I want to know if you're doing this, how you found it, the workflow documentation to be. If you get stuck anywhere, I'd love to hear from you. Also hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll be with you real soon on the next episode of Marketing Against the Green. This data is wrong every freaking time. Have you heard of HubSpot? HubSpot is a CRM platform where everything is fully integrated. Whoa, I can see the client's whole history. Calls, support tickets, emails, and here's a task from three days ago I totally missed. HubSpot, grow better.